is a good hug. What's going on, everybody? Yes. Oh my God. So many of you showed up. In the historic Grove Theater, right out here in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, the Atomic City, the Secret City, the little city that could explode in a given moment. That's real shit. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited to be out here tonight. I'm gonna need all the room to move. I am excited to be out here tonight, man. Most of my weekends, I, I spend it taking care of my 98-year-old great-grandmother. So, yeah, I know you think she'd be dead by now, but... <laughs> old bitch just keep pushing around on me. Okay, I can say that, because she's gone past the point of cute grandma and gone off the fucking deep end. <laughs> Shit. Okay, and I feel like her job has become to just ask me to do the most uncomfortable things known to man. A couple weeks ago, she asked me to go out and get a new pair of underwear. Because all of hers are made in flaxseed and gingham and from the toilets. So, okay, so I forget to ask what size she wears, though. I figured, whatever, I'll wing it, I'll look at the packaging. Right? Uh uh. Problem with that? Mammal panties do not have pictures of mammals on them. <laughs> no, there's some like hot 19 year old on there, and that is not what my mammal looks like. <laughs> mm. So, to fix this problem, I'm going to start the MMA, the Mammal Modeling Agency. <laughs> mm -hmm. You bring me your sexy mammals. I'm going to take pictures of them in their undies. She wasn't gonna be looking so hot, she gonna be beating him up with a stick. A cane, but a stick. Whew, that is an uncomfortable expression. To get beaten off with a stick. Guys, can you imagine getting beaten off with a stick? Okay? You are asking for splinters, mister. That amount of friction, you were gonna start a fire. That's, that's gonna be on the next one of these like survival shows. You'll just see bare grills in the woods. Like first you have to establish your little tent above your own ground. Then you set up your bow drill staff. Then you remove your erect penis from your trousers. <laughs> and now we have fire for another night. Yeah, a cock fire will save your life every time. I love all those survival shows, though, man. I like Bull Survivor and Man vs. Wild. The only one I can't get behind is Naked and Afraid. <clears throat> okay? Who was naked in the woods in the first place that got lost? Nobody's walking around the woods naked, right? There's shit in the woods because it's the woods. <laughs> there are prickly plants. There are curious critters. I'm upset if I walk face first through a spider web. You feel me? Even if brushes my dinghy in the wilderness, I am immediately naked and afraid. I don't even like spiders coming in my house. And I get that they're like, I'm, I'm scared of them, man. I am. And I get that they're like essential to the ecosystem, but the ecosystem is not in my house. <laughs> and I even, I leave notes on the door. Like, hey, spiders, don't come in here. And they won't read them. And I said they won't, okay? Not that they can't. I saw Charlotte's Web, and I know just how articulate your arachnids can be. You got eight eyes and you can't read a sticky note? Bullshit. <laughs> then get what's coming to them. 